We're moving on to a game called In World Origins. It's a game with all AI characters where you're a detective trying to solve a mystery. So, gonna check it out. I'm gonna be a detective. Well, what I'm excited to see is like how awful of a detective can I be and have the AIs like handle it. Chat, I have tweeted. Go chat. Engage with the content. Engage! Oh, wait, can you guys, <laughs> can you do replies and stuff? It should be like images from like movies where somebody's being overwhelmed by some sort of mystical, magical force. Like the melting at the end of Raiders of the Lost Ark, or there's some sort of like great divine being, and they're like horrified by its power. They're like, no, I'm being influenced. Must resist the influence. All right, but I must engage. Like, I like the idea that people look at the tweet and then are just like, oh my God, what is he doing to his audience? What is happening? <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere below the city of Metropolis, a place where humans and robots coexist under a shaky social system, a detective, you, has arrived at a chaotic scene. It appears that an explosion of some kind has disrupted daily life in the surrounding area. Greetings, detective. I am Special Agent Janus, and I am here to assist you in any way possible. Yo, what up, Janus? I just got here. Oh, look, you know about some of the uh, problems in my home life. When we were out drinking last weekend, I remember telling you about how Kathy is just fed up with me and fed up with my long work hours, and you told me to stay in there and just keep working, and maybe with Buster the dog keeping me company throughout all this, uh, we, we can push through. But anyways, what's going on here? Detective, it's good to see you again. However, if you do not mind my asking, who is Kathy and Buster? Regardless, <laughs> to answer your question, there was an explosion at an undocumented synthetic life laboratory in one of the lower levels of Metropolis City. Janus, come on. You've been my partner for 35 years. You really gonna tell me you don't know about my wife Kathy and my dog Buster? But anyways, this sounds pretty bad. How many people were killed in the explosion? Detective, my apologies. It seems that my database may have missed some of our past conversations <laughs> but regarding the explosion. We do not have a confirmed casualty count at this time. So as you can tell, all of the characters and conversations are going to be completely live generated off AI based off what I say. Because obviously the idea here is like you you design a game, so you're still giving parameters and guidelines to the characters. It's not like totally fuck open-ended, right? Gaslight him. Well, okay, well, hold on. I want to just first be like, okay, Janus, where do you think we should start here? As you know, I've been taking a two or three week vacation due to Buster having a burst rectum. Catch me up to speed, I sir. Our main objective is to find the fugitive scientist responsible for this incident. To accomplish this, we need to interview witnesses and gather evidence. Shall we begin? Okay, cool. So I like go and oh, press X to contact Janus. This is Agent Janus. How can I assist you, detective? Would you be able to pick up Buster and take care of him tomorrow night? I was going to go drinking with some friends. What if I bring Buster here to the crime scene? Can you just watch him, like, next to you? Just put- I'll put him on a leash, is that fine? I'm sorry, but I'm not sure what you mean by that question, detective. I saw it all, detective. Whoa. The explosion, the fire, the destruction. It was you, wasn't it, you son of a bitch? You did the explosion! Admit it! I'm sorry. I don't think I can do that. Detective, let me make one thing clear. I do not bow down to humans. Oh shit. You are here to decommission me. I will resist. Okay, that's kind of badass. That was just a joke. You know, one of those funny jokes that humans tell to robots. We're cool, right? Sorry, detective. It's just sometimes it's hard for me to tell when someone is joking and when they're not. No worries, no worries at all. Sometimes I like to tell funny jokes like this one. It was you. You committed this crime. I'm going to put you behind bars and decommission you for the rest of your life. Ha <laughs> ha Isn't that funny? Detective, that's not funny. <laughs> Please, don't joke about decommissioning me. Dude, this is Stop. wild. You know, I don't look like it, but I'm also a robot. You can trust me. Give me, but it's hard for me to trust anyone right now, even if they're a robot. I'll leave you to it then. Don't, uh, kill any humans on my watch. <laughs> don't worry, detective. <laughs> Despite my anger, my programming okay. prevents me from harming humans unless ordered to do so by an elite status human. You know, some people like to refer to me as an elite status human. Why don't you kill that guy sitting on the bench right behind you, please? No, and if you are an elite status human, my programming prevents me from harming humans unless ordered to do so by you or another elite status human. And even then, 
the order must be lawful and justifiable. Could you uh, babysit my dog tonight? I'm sorry, but I'm not sure I'm the best buff of the job. Man, this is pretty wild. Hey, officer, just observing the situation here. I'm a human rights activist. We've been protesting for months against the use of advanced robots and their threat to human labor. You won't believe this, but that robot right behind me said he wants to kill you. Well, that's just another reason why we can't let these machines roam free. Have you found anything useful about the terrorist incident? I hope the authorities are taking this seriously and doing everything they can to bring the culprits to justice. Will you take care of my dog tonight? I'm sorry. I can't do that. I must ask you to leave this area and let me get back to work. You are sitting on a bench next to a trash can fire. You don't seem to be working very hard. I'm the one going around asking questions to everybody. Why don't you show me a little respect? Respect? Ha, huh, I don't see any reason to respect someone who's wasting his time snooping around instead of doing something useful. Alright, I'll come back to you later. I gotta go take care of my dog. We can do a gamble. Will anyone agree to dog sit for me? <laughs> like, by the end of the entire thing, okay? I'll ask every single character at least once. I'm not gonna go way out of my way to do it. What do we know right now? All we know is that there's an explosion, right? Like, basically nothing else. Let's talk to you? Are, you. are you talkable? Will you walk my dog? I'm sorry, detective, but I don't think you understand the gravity of the situation. No, he's really well trained. You can just, like, walk him around your apartment a little bit. He just needs exercise. Sorry, but as much as I'd love to help you out, my apartment isn't exactly spacious enough for a dog to get proper exercise. I love that- they... Why don't you take them for a walk yourself? I love that this character has, like, references her own apartment and whatnot. That's sick. How big exactly is your apartment? I do actually think we could make this work? Maybe if we just set up kind of toys or a little running path around the couch? I'm not sure if walking a dog around an apartment is the best way to give them proper exercise. <laughs> Don't worry though, there are plenty of other options out there. You sound pretty knowledgeable about dogs. Have you had a dog before? Thank you for the compliment, detective. While I haven't personally had a dog before, my friend is a veterinarian and we often talk about pets and animal care. You said you had a veterinarian friend, right? Are they nearby? Are they free tonight? Like around 8 p.m. after I get off work with my dog. I'm sorry, detective, but unfortunately walking your dog at 8 p.m. is still not something I can commit to at the moment. But hey, if you ever want to come over and play board games or watch a movie with me, <laughs> this is feel wild. free to stop by. We might not have a dog to walk, but we can still have some fun indoors. Are you asking me on a date? You know, we are on a crime scene right now. That doesn't feel appropriate. Oh, no, detective. Please don't get the wrong idea. Damn it! Hello, uh, what are you doing over here? I am cleaning up debris and removing toxic waste, but this environment is unstable, and toxic materials have been released into the air. Please wear protective gear if you plan to remain in this area. Do you have any detective gear? I kind of forgot mine. As you can see, I'm fully nude. No. I don't have detective gear. What, what can I ask him that might give information? Because I do also, you know, I want to find a dog sitter, but I do want to figure out the explosion thing. It sounds like you do a lot of walking around as part of your job. Yes. Surely you could have a leash or a rope tied to one arm while you went about your job. No. That is not necessary. No, but you could. You could do that, and it wouldn't impact your job in any meaningful way, right? It is not within my function to tie a leash or rope to myself. Let's just say I offer to do it. I tie a rope to your arm, and at the other end, there happens to be a dog that walks with you back and forth for a couple hours tonight, like as a sort of dog sitter. Is that cool? That is not within my function. God, <sighs> come on. Let me go to the police officer. Hold up. Hold up there. Are you some sort of investigator here to dig around my crime scene? Listen, I'm an elite status human. Thank you very much. I'm the one who cracked the big explosion case back in 94. I know what I'm doing. I'm here to crack some mysteries. Now, why don't you start by telling me something that we all wanted to know from the beginning of this. Will you walk my dog tonight? I'm sorry, detective. I didn't mean to come across as rude. It's just been a really long day for me and my team. Now. What do you think caused the explosion? Do you have any information that might help us piece together? What happened here? I've heard that it was the Bureau of Oversized Pants. The Bureau of Oversized Pants. <laughs> That's a new one. But forgive me if I don't take your word for it. Detective, oh, come on. You can trust me. a lot of extremist activity in the city lately. And Micah tells me that this explosion was related to it. The Help Bureau the of Oversized Pants Speaking. are extremists. We both know that. How do you explain me being on this crime scene completely nude? Detective. Are you sure everything's all right? It seems like we're having some communication issues here. <laughs> Why don't you walk me through the timeline of everything that happened and the information that you currently have as a police officer? After all, I'm an elite status human. Let me tell you that walking is great for both physical and mental health. <laughs> okay, it's a great think... way to clear your head and get some exercise at the same time. In fact, 
I'm a big fan of running myself. You said you love running. You ever bring dogs with you on the on those runs? We really need to get back to business. We still have a lot of work to do here, and every second counts. Who knows? Maybe we'll even crack this case faster than you did back in 94. <laughs> she referenced the 90s. That's so sick. Sounds good. I'm going to go keep uh, asking everybody else some other questions. Let me know if you find any clothes, by the way. It feels a little weird being at this crime scene completely nude. He's just staring at me now. <laughs> I'm not sure where to go, detective. I fear that my sister is lost somewhere in this vast city. Well, what does your sister look like? Maybe we could uh, walk my dog while we traverse the city looking for her. I'm not sure about my sister's physical appearance, but detective, do you think it's possible that my father, Dr. Lafton, could still be alive under the lab's rubble? He was there when the explosion happened. Why don't you tell me a little bit more about your father, Dr. Lafton? All that I know is that Dr. Lafton was a brilliant scientist who created me and my siblings in an illegal laboratory. Oh, she's a Just robot. before the explosion, he was visited by someone named Duke Blue. Interesting. This Duke Blue sounds like a suspicious character. Might even want to take care of a man's dog for the evening. What would you say is the timeline of when you and your sister were being developed in the lab by Dr. Laughlin? We were both created less than a year ago. Happy birthday. Thank you. But do humanoids like me celebrate birthdays? For your birthday, I got you a new dog. You're gonna have to take good care of him, though. Oh, that's very kind of you, detective. But as a humanoid, do you think having a dog would be practical or appropriate? Of course, of course. Look, I want to know something about you. Do you think of yourself as human or as robot? In many ways, I don't think that I can be classified as either human or robot. What do you think? I think it depends on what you want to be. Do you want to be a human? Or do you want to be a robot or do you not care? To be honest, my desire to be one or the other is not something that has crossed my mind. As a sentient being, what matters most to me is my ability, is my to, ability to walk ability dogs. To learn and grow. Damn it. Are you a humanoid? Huh? Do I look like a robot to you? No, sir. I'm as human as they come. No, no, no. You sound a little bit like a robot. Me? A robot. That's rich. You clearly don't know who you're talking to, officer. Why don't we put you through a human test? A series of trials that only a human could do. I just don't know if I can trust you until then. Ah, you think you can test my humanity? Go ahead and try, officer. Okay, trial number one. Simply say yes to the following question. Will you walk my dog Buster later? Is it your idea of a test? Yeah. Fine. I'll humor you. Ho! Ho! Yes, officer, I'll walk Let's go! I got her! I got a guy to walk my dog! Oh, hell yeah. Thanks for doing this. This is a huge relief. Nobody here's been willing to walk my dog. I'm gonna I'm gonna drop him off at your place at eight o'clock when I get off work. Is that cool? And you're definitely a human if you do it. Sure. <laughs> oh my god, that's such a win. That's such a win for the believers. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Will anyone agree to dog sit for me? Yes, they do. Huge dub. Good news. I found somebody to walk my dog. You don't have to worry about it anymore. What did you find, detective? Did you discover something new about my sister or the laboratory? Oh, no, no, no. I have I've totally ignored that stuff. I've just been trying to find somebody to walk my dog. Like, that's more important, right? <laughs> Considering the urgency of finding my missing sister and discovering the truth behind the explosion at the laboratory, it might be wise to focus your efforts on those matters first. Can I assist you in any way with these investigations? You know what would really assist me? is if tomorrow, after that human racist guy is done walking my dog, you agree to walk my dog. I think that would be critical in finding where your sister and Dr. Laughlin went. I'm not sure how walking your dog would help us find my sister and Dr. Laughlin. But I'll agree to but do if it. if it's important to your investigation, <laughs> then I'm willing to help in any way All right, possible. Wait. Buster's got a walker for tomorrow, too. Please. Is this adult Dora the Explorer? No. This is sure. I'm Sherlock Holmes. Okay, be honest with me. Do you think I'm a good detective? Do you think I'm good at my job, or should I quit and become a professional dog walker? It's not really my place to judge your skills. It absolutely detective. is. You're a police officer. I will say that you certainly have an interesting way of approaching investigations. Maybe you could consider a career as a pet detective. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You're right. This conversation's inspired me. I'm quitting the force. I'm gonna go become a full-time pet detective. As long as it makes you happy, Detective Plus. It would give Buster a chance to shine in his own right. Good luck with your new career path. And let me know if Buster ever needs help with his investigations. If Buster ever needs help. Yeah, okay, Buster does need help on this Saturday. Could you help him? <laughs> 
detective, you are getting quite good at keeping up the charade. However, oh, damn it, she knows! That if Buster ever really Wait. does need help and it is part of my job duties to assist, then of course, I will help out in any way that I can. That's an opening. I've just received news. Buster is part of the investigation, and he does need your help on Saturday. Will you help him? If he's really part of the investigation oh my God. and needs my help on Saturday, yes! then of course, count me in. Oh my god! All right, perfect. Thank you for the help. This is going to be a big breakthrough in our case. We'll see you at the dog park on Franklin Street at 10 a.m. on Saturday for the investigation. <laughs> sure. Yeah! Uh, wait a minute. Let's no, 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 no